Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. Today we are going to play some Death Run. Well, not really, because these games are old. <laughs> As you can see right there, there's a button in front of the trap. So this is a rather old game, and he's trying to take my button. But, yeah, I decided to uh, find some old games that didn't have any commentary and commentate them. The reason this one is being added is because, see that guy right there? He did not sneak by me. This is going to be an example of me targeting second place. I did not do this very often, and I'll get in more into that in a minute, but I would do it from time to time. And as a death, it is your job to stop as many people as you can from crossing the finish line. Unfortunately, the hive always made it very unbalanced and made it almost impossible for the death to win. Now, I've won his death twice, and I think I'm the only person to ever do it on video, and I did it on video both times. But it was still just insanely hard to do. So it's not always a bad idea if you're really wanting to stop everybody from finishing or as many as you can to let the first guy go and then target second the rest of the time so the first guy he'll finish but he'll finish so early and if you slow down everybody else so long that you know that's the only one that will finish now you can't do that on a lot of maps like something like school it doesn't work on uh, but Expel, Laramus, Seasons, Viaduct, Castle, you could do that on depending on who was in the game. If you had a bunch of good speedrunners in the game, it's not going to work because even though you let one guy go and you're targeting second the rest of the time, they can still usually push the pace fast enough where the timer won't run out. Especially after the update where they made the timer like 90 seconds at the end instead of like 60. But if there was only like one good guy in the game and he happened to be the one that gets out early, or maybe there was just nobody all that good in the game and you let one guy go. You can actually stop everybody from finishing except for that one guy. And as a death, I mean, that's as good as you could really do a lot of times. Now, I didn't do it often because it also kind of hurts your kill count. And I wanted to get a lot of kills. Uh, I'd like to win the game if possible, but they always made it really hard and nearly impossible for that to happen. But, yeah, I, I probably would have done this more often if I wasn't trying to get my kill count up and if it was easier to do because, like I said, depending on the map and who's in the game, it's not going to work. This particular time, yeah, one guy finished, and he's the only one to finish so far, and I believe he is the only one to finish in this game. And this time it did work out in my favor. They're getting close, though. It just barely worked. So, you can imagine how hard that would be on a shorter map with uh, less grindy traps. Now, this game right here, I was playing with Hazma in a party, but we weren't in a call together. And when I would do that, when I like see Hazma or maybe me or something online, we get in a party but not made a call. It's usually because I was listening to a podcast, the radio, or watching kind of like a TV show in the background. Um, and I'm sure that's what was going on in this case but you know trying to multitask trying to get my dr grind done while watching my tv shows or whatever right but i think also in this video wesley probably got the triple maybe for the first time if it wasn't for the first time it was the first time he landed it in a good run i think or at least a decent run uh i was the, i believe the first one in our group to hit the triple that i played with I actually have a clip of Mia hitting it for her first time after I'd done it, like, a number of times. Um, I might have to play that in, like, a video this week of Mia because she's like, I did it! Like, really high-pitched. She's just, like, so excited. Like, <laughs> it was the greatest thing in the world. And I meant to make, like, a, a parody out of her saying that because it sounded hilarious. And I never did. I, I, I could still do it. I, I just... With Death Run being done, I don't definitely don't know if it'll ever happen now, but we're getting up to the point where Wesley's going to try for the triple. It's not been a great run, but it's been a decent run for him, and I, I'm betting this is the first time he did it. I'd have to ask Wesley. Wesley, comment below if it was your first, if you remember. But yeah, I hit it after him. New personal best for me at that time. My best is definitely better than that <laughs> now, but this is an old game, okay? So... That was pretty cool, I thought, that we both hit the triple at that time. Here we have another game where we have buttons. So it's an older version of Death Run. 
Alright, and I think the reason I saved this game is uh, two parts. Number one, there was staff in the game, and whenever I saw staff in a game, I would pick Death Dealer. No question. If I saw him, picking Death, because I like killing staff. Because staff was always questionable, questionable to me when it came to the mods <laughs> in the game. Uh, and the other reason is because of the ending. I won't spoil the ending, so we'll just talk about the 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 first reason for it now. But the rules would be written. They are for everybody to read. And then you would report somebody, and staff could sometimes interpret the rules very creatively. <laughs> I always thought. I mean, uh, those type of mods, not a fan. But then there were some good staff members, too. Um, I got temporarily banned for this uh, one, I guess, website and mod that people would use. I didn't download or use it or anything like that, but somebody you signed me up on, I guess, a website, uh, and it caused anybody who used that mod, when they saw me, they would see like a naked lady on the back of my cape. And now I was rightfully very pissed off, um, not because somebody did that to me, I don't mind that, but the fact that the staff banned me for it because I didn't use a mod I wasn't allowed to. Uh, this was something somebody else did. I had nothing to do with it, yet I'm the one who got temporarily banned, and I was pissed at that. Uh, but even though I didn't agree with the banning itself, I uh, was helped by the staff to fix this, the problem, and they did a good job, even though I disagreed with their... No, right there. Do you see what happened right there? Killed Kaz right before he got into the portal. He said GG like he had finished when he died instead. And then he quits. So, Kaz, this is for you. Don't be a quit, bitch. Just stay. Change your routine today. Speedrunners, please don't dismay. Failure's an option, but don't tread with caution. Death isn't the end of your fun. Respawn and replay. Practice the entire map. Don't stop midway. If you leave early, you'll foul up the game. Finish the contest. Respect the time of others. You got it made. Put skill on display. Dodge death blockades for the accolades. Quitting's for losers, don't be a perpetrator. No later alligators or finish line haters. Quit bitches, kiss my ass. Yep. Kiss it, Kaz. Don't be a quit bitch. Alright, this game is taking a while. That's the thing about uh, commentating over the death games, man. They last a while. You run out of the things you want to talk about, you know? I wonder what the... I can't remember what the next one is. Hopefully it's not a death game. I liked playing death from time to time. Uh, obviously. But it was always more fun to be runner, for the most part. Oh, it's another death game. What do you know? Ah, man. Why did I save this one? Let's see. I'm trying to remember. What's the file called? Oh, I killed the map maker in this one. That's why. Okay, yeah. I just re I, was it quirky, or whatever. Yeah, I always like trying to um, compete against a map maker. If I saw him in game, I'd want to beat him. I want to make sure I beat him on their own map. And uh, yeah, killing him on their own map is fun too. I know I what was it Fiba and. Starfire? I thought it was really cool one day I got to race them on Starbase. So, yeah. Th this is the only reason I kept this video. There's nothing special about it other than the fact that I got to kill the map maker in it. Um, I think there might have been another map I got to kill a map maker on. I mean, obviously, Tim. Yesterday's video uh, played against Tim. But Tim was killing us in that game. Um, I'm sure I've killed Tim at some point as death in, I mean, I've made it into a video, but I've played Tim enough, um, in Death Run to where I'm sure I killed him on one of his own maps. I mean, he's made, what, 50% of the Death Run maps were probably made by Tim. I'd have to go and look at, like, the numbers and see how many he made versus the total, which, it's 40 is the total number of maps, so... 
It would not shock me if that guy made 20 freaking maps for this game. He is definitely somebody you would use the term prolific for when it comes to map making. There's some other people like over in um, the Overcast Network where the number of maps they've made for those games is just like mind-boggling. Hopefully Tim keeps making maps though. Uh, I don't know if he does still. I haven't talked to Tim in a long time. Hopefully he's still out there making maps and he continues for a different game mode. Tim, I think I, I know I mentioned it to you in the past, but if you ever want to make game modes for something like the Overcast Network, man, I'm sure they would love to get some of your creativity over there. And I would be more than willing to help you out with like understanding the game modes and stuff because they're a lot of fun and they're very open to community um, made maps. So, actually, I, I think most of their maps are definitely done by the community. They have like event coordinators and like map makers like on staff. They always did, um, but I think most of the maps came straight from like just the player base. And then you'd have like the map makers on staff. They would make changes and help with the creation process and stuff like that. But did a whole set of interviews with uh, map makers from Overcast, and that was a lot of fun. If I start playing on the Overcast network again. At some point, I might start doing map maker interviews again. I'd have to. I don't know what new maps they've had over there that I would like, though. Um, one of the reasons I don't play there much now is just it's hard for me to find some maps that I like because there's only like one main server going all the time. When it used to be, you have a lot of options. You could find a map that you wanted all the time. All right, no more death games for a while, hopefully. This one's school. It's going to go by a little faster. No idea why I saved it. What's this file called? The name of the file does not help me at all. <laughs> it just says school. Run. So I, it wasn't going to be a clip. I knew it was going to be like the whole run. I died immediately, so I mean, it, it can't be that good of a game, right? Why did I save it? Hmm out together. So far, nothing all that impressive on my end. The death can't get me. Not again, at least. Okay, well, not again. Or, what I meant is not again. Okay, not a fourth time. Definitely not a fourth time. See? Too fast. Or not. Okay, well... Maybe this is why I saved it. Maybe I die an ungodly amount of times on school. Hmm. There we go again. It, it's looking like that could be the reason why. I mean, I'm not seeing anything special. Just getting my ass handed to me by the death dealer. Good job, death dealer, whoever you are. I didn't look the name. Like seeing a death do his job. Do I get it? Last second win. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I won by... Like a tenth of a second. Huh? That's not that rare, though. I mean, you get a lot of close victories in Death Run. I lost count of how many I had by like, uh, <laughs> like a hundredth of a second or two or three hundredth of a second over time. There's, there's quite a few of them. So far, this isn't a good run by me, but there's no death killing me, or he hasn't been able to. See? Oh, I'm too good. I'm too good. You were outmatched, Mr. Death. The guy from the last game should be here to help you because you are unprepared for my skill sets. <laughs> here we go. Nero. This guy likes to trigger him early. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is going to be an easy run if you guys do this the whole time. Yeah. Okay. We'll go here and stop. Oh, he hit me, but I'm still running. He still can't kill me. I'm guessing I saved this one just because I don't die. Look at that. You can't stop me from going over that wall. Nope. Not happening. 
But, you know, if I don't win and I don't die, that's not a big deal. I mean, because you can always, like, avoid taking deaths as long as you don't want to compete for first. So I guess I'm winning this, too, and don't take a death. Yep, that's that's definitely what happens here. He ain't gonna give me no TNT. All right. So what we got next? We I don't know how many of these games I put on here, but it was like 20 minutes worth of content, I think. So I definitely got more to go. I haven't been talking for 20 minutes yet. Okay, that guy, a lot faster than me through that area. <laughs> and these runs, man, I just, watching them back, and again, these are old videos, right? So if you want to watch, like, what my best runs would be like, uh, I have a playlist called Slow Runs. You can click on it in the description below, and you can compare it to this, and it's not even close. Those runs are a lot better than the crap you're going to watch in this video. And as I'm watching this, I, keep, I like, cringe. I'm like, oh, man, you should have done a head hitter there. Oh, you should have taken a shortcut. Oh, why'd you puss out on that jump? Yeah, I'm seeing all kinds of things that I wish... You know, I would have done different, but. Again, some of these things were just saved on my computers. Like, oh, I might use them. And they sat there for years, and they were pretty much irrelevant after, like, a month. <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, because maybe I would have improved my time, or this and that. Because you don't start off playing Death Run, even if you're good at parkour. And I'm not good at parkour, even. So, But you don't start off being good at death run <laughs> even if you're good at parkour you gotta learn the pass you gotta learn the strafe routes you gotta learn the shortcuts and that's a really big part of it this map used to drive me crazy it was not one I disliked but there was a certain time on it that I always wanted to hit and I would always be like a tenth or two tenths of a second off. I could not hit that time for the longest time. I can't remember what it was for the life of me right now. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I hit it eventually. But I think I was pretty excited in this race because that boost the TNT gave me. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get it now. As long as I don't get killed by the death. As long as, the, as, long as I can outrun him, I might finally get that time and then boom, I'm dead. <laughs> But that's something you can't plan, is when you get the boost from um, a death dealer on a trap like that. That's just dumb freaking luck. But I'm guessing that's what happened. That might be why I saved that one. And I am not being sarcastic right here. Uh, I'm letting the death know he actually did a good job. I'm not being salty. I would tell the death from time to time, hey, nice job death or whatever you got me right at the end. I'm being sincere, because uh, again, I like it when the death does his job. I may have stayed away from him that entire time except for that one point, but eventually he got me. A, a death dealer should not have a speed run done on his watch. And in this one right here, me and me and not Nicole, again, I'm probably listening to a podcast or something, but I'm teasing her because she's running and jumping around, using all her energy before the race when, I mean... You're going to wear yourself out, man. you got to conserve your energy so you're ready and you're primed for the big moment. That's exactly what I did. And as you can see, I'm in front. Death Dealer can't handle me. I'm too hot. I'm just like... Oh, shoot. Yeah, see, I almost jumped into that. But you know what? My cat-like cat reflexes <laughs> saved the day. I say that as I'm, like, fouling up another jump. Oh, and then I died. Ah, oh, the only reason I saved this is just because I beat Mia. <laughs> and I guarantee that's the only reason I saved it, is I beat Mia, and I was teasing her for wasting all her energy. And at the end, I think I beat her. And I, I rub her nose in it just a bit. Oh, you can't stop me, death. Yep, first place. And now I, I know I say something to me. Yep, here it goes. See, I rested before the race, and I won. Yep. 
I don't know that guy who says my name right there. Uh, if you're a fan, hello. Sorry I did not acknowledge you at the time. Mia, next time you should listen to me. Not just in Death Run, just whatever the context. If I tell you to do something, you should listen. Just why why would you not listen? I'm right so often. You can't go wrong. Here we go, same race. Not same race, but same map. No. Oh, saved myself. I did not want to have to waste a strafe right there, but I wasn't letting that death get the better of me. He was not getting a kill. Just was not going to happen. Oh, see, look, I got the TNT boost. Oh, and then I died. Okay. Death, you got me now. We're, we're one in one, okay? I would get excited when I got that TNT boost. It never worked out for me to where, like, I had a clean run after getting a boost from the TNT on this map. But I, I'd always be like, yes! In this race, I'd already, like, wasn't going to get a speed run, though, because I, the start where the death used the wall, of course, but... Am I getting blown up? Oh, no, I'm not. You can get me right there, though. Hey, that's Mia. With one of her old names. Not a good name. No. Her original, like, that, well, it may not have been her original, but the one I first saw her with was like Mudblood or something. I like that one. Mawia, the one she has now, it's all right. That was painful. Yes, it was painful. That, that, that was not a good display for me. Oh, what we got here? We got some Enchanted Lagoon action. Hopefully it goes a little bit better for me because I'm not looking too good in these old videos, I'm telling you. A lot of people wouldn't put their poor moments of, like, bloopers and, like, just horrid displays of skill on, up on YouTube like this. I have no problem with it. <laughs> Whether it's Death Run or Bed Wars, I'm not afraid to put my own bloopers in the video for you. Although Bed Wars bloopers are a lot more entertaining, usually, than Death Run bloopers. I, I saved a really good one in Bed Wars uh, earlier this month. I mean, it's it's really bad. Uh, not only did I screw up, but I, like, final killed myself. and It'll probably be in, like, my... Uh, I'm guessing it'll go in my 900 star montage when I do that. Um, so it's going to be a few months before we get to that point. But hey, I got zero deaths. There we go. See, I don't always do horrible. Mine. Was not a huge fan of running or death dealing on this one. Running was probably a little funner. Or more fun. Uh, you tell I used to be a gym teacher, not an English teacher, right? No! Lost my momentum, jumped right in the hole. I don't know why I saved this one, though. I haven't figured that out yet. Because so far it's not making me look very good. I'm having to, like, at the time I'm playing this, you can tell I'm unsure about which way I need to turn on those jumps. And me giving commentary right now, I am still unsure which way I should turn on those jumps because it's been so long since I played this freaking game. Oh, yeah, I'm getting completely schooled. What? What? Where am I at? This is... No, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> this might be why I saved it because I just totally got screwed right there. Got destroyed by the water and sent back, and the jump boost didn't work. And, oh man, it's weird that I saved an entire game because of something like that, though. There's got to be more to it, right? Hmm. Oh, you're gonna shoot me. Maybe there isn't more to it, because so far I haven't seen anything else. That was the most 
significant thing I've seen in the video. If I win after that BS with the green bars, that's, that's pretty sad for everybody else in the game. Yeah, and I did, it was, again, like a second, a tenth of a second win over the second place. That must be why I saved it. But I think this is the last race I included in this video. So, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow I got another Death Run video planned, and then maybe another one. So minimum four, maybe five Death Run videos this week. But after that, no more Death Run for me ever, unless another popular server picks up and brings back the game mode. If you didn't get enough spin time for today, though, click on the left thumbnail to watch my Monday video where it showcases me and my friends playing Death Run for the very last time, or you can click on the right thumbnail and watch my most recent music video. Remember, there's a brand new video here every single Monday, so until then, spin out.